Hello, everybody. Welcome to Love, Love, Brother. I'm Ryan. This is Fishing Planet. Uh, I had to swallow or something. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I've been poking around here in North Carolina. Happy Wednesday to you all. Looks like there's sea monsters living under this river. Uh, I'll be honest. We, I kind of got stuck here. Just sort of. I was like, I'll do my due diligence. I'm going to go find the fish and then I'll start recording. Uh, as you can see, I've been playing about an hour uh, game time. Not that much. Not Not that long. In reality, but just look at the way the water is moving. I don't know, I'm assuming it's getting picked up through YouTube. Uh, my game capture screen is really small anymore. But uh, there's just ripples and like water humps all over the place. Um, just right there. Look at that. Look at that hump. There you go. Uh, we're getting some action here, but I haven't been able to get it to strike. I'm using magnets, maggots, and a, and a five uh, hook, uh, a five O hook actually. So it's one of the bigger hooks I've got. Um, and attempt to try to catch one of these gars. Once I catch a gar, then I'll just go find the bass and go bass fishing. But see that hump right there where my the rod tip was at? That's crazy to me. Um. like it's a little close to me it should be a little bit further out but we're getting something there's something there Get it to strike, please. I've uh, let it float further and it, and it sort of just dies off. It's right here, which means things like bluegill or something, to be honest. But uh, my hook's probably too big for the bluegill to, to take it. but. Uh, we also get some action when we get over there close to that rock, but it was a bad cast. So we're going to bring it in here to where those ripples are at. Um, about right there. And hopefully we'll do okay. I uh, hope everyone's having a great week. Um, I'm leaving tonight to go to Washington, D.C. Excited for that. So if you got any suggestions on what I should do while I'm there. Uh, leave them in the comments down below. I'll have my phone with me, so I'm never too far from YouTube. Um, but, uh, looking forward to unplugging a little bit. And seeing what our nation's capital has to offer, offer us. This is my nation's capital. I'm not a big city guy, I'll be honest. I spend a lot of time camping, a lot of times outdoors. A lot of time fishing. Um, city living, big cities have never really been something that's been inspiring to me. Uh, but, um, but I'm willing to try it. Okay, I'm done. Strike was done too early. I have no idea what's down there. Uh, I, I just can't float fish anymore. We'll, we'll try it with it. We'll try it with our old silver spoon. No, no, come back. Come back. Oh, actually, this is where I was talking about before. When it gets back in that dark spot of that rock, we've had some, see, got some, it's already dancing. I know, 
frag was done too early. Let's get let's get this out of here. Let's uh let's hit the inventory. Uh go back to our spinning rig. Let's let's try a shad. Okay, uh we're actually going to speed up the day too to like six o'clock. Could have went a little further. Ah, oh, look how beautiful it looks now, though. All right, that's out here a little bit. Oh, look at that catfish. That's what is in. There. That's what's down there. And my bait's not long enough. That's what it is. 21 pound catfish. I want one of those. Okay. We gotta do that. We gotta do that. We can do that. There we go. Got a little something here. Oh, that's a nice... That's a nice crappie. That's a huge slab. Okay, all right. Sorry, I, I change of plans here. Okay, so let's let's not do let's, let's not do. Uh, oh, sorry. Hit tab. Let's do cut bait again. There we go. On our biggest hook, we'll try about a meter here. We'll see if it stands up straight. Okay, it's standing up there, so we could probably go deeper. Did you see 21 pound catfish? Oh man. Oh man. I want it. Daddy wants it. Daddy wants it. Didn't even think about that. This is like the fish from Big Fish right here. I gotta go deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper. We'll try 55 inches. Still standing up tall. Still standing up tall. Okay, so 55 inches is good. Let's try. Let's try 70 inches. Thirty-pound catfish.
Come on, Daddy wants it. Seems like a little too deep. I'll try 65. Take a drink of coffee. That always helps. Calms the nerves. Getting more more action on the maggots. Let's see what he says. small cut bait. I think we used all of our medium cut bait with the peacock bass in Florida. That's nice. See, I told you guys. Most, most people are pretty nice. Let's see if we have what it takes for some medium cut bait. Shop. Bait. Small. Catfish. Oh, there's no medium here. Alright. Let's, uh, let's check the fish. Flathead. Large cut bait. Shiners. Minnows. Crawfish. Crawfish is five. I don't want to. For five of them. No thanks. Uh, crawfish cut. It's 300 bucks. Sure. Let's buy that. What did I, no, I already paid for that. Did I not? I'm pretty sure I did. Alright. So let's uh, put the crawfish cut on it. There we go. Back in position. Uh, yay there. And let her go. Uh, this is not the uh, fishing trip I had in mind today, but it's the fishing trip that's came to us. So let's, uh, I mean, if we get one, to me, it's all worth it. So uh, this is probably. I apologize for even saying it, but this is probably less about you and more about me today. Because um, if I was making it for you, then I think we would have moved on by now. Uh, or at least I would have stopped recording until I felt confident I had it figured out. But it's all part of the journey. I mean, sometimes you go fishing and you don't catch anything at all. It doesn't take away from the fishing trip. 
You don't blame the fishing trip if you don't catch any fish. It's just, you know, it's all part of it. That day the fish win. My dad told me one time a long time ago. He said that, uh, I because I, obviously my father was paramount in, in teaching me about fish and fishing and everything else. And, uh, uh, and when you're a boy, you don't quite understand sometimes what it is that you're given. Like, if you don't, like... Fishing for us growing up was 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 pretty much, you know, we my 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 dad would choose to do that more than he would choose to do some other things. Uh, it was never bad. I mean, it was never like uh, I don't know. It's just it's just weird to try to say. Well, let me put this case. Uh, you you want to go to the zoo? Why would you go to the zoo? There we go. I think we got one. We got something. It's a bass. No, it's not. It's a smallmouth. Personal record smallmouth. Almost two and a, oh, it's over two and a half pounds. Smallmouth. Notice how the mouth does not cross the eye. Which means it's a smallmouth. That's a huge smallmouth. Keep. Um, fishing was, um, you know, you, you as a kid, you want to go to the zoo. You want to go to a museum. Want to go do something like that? You want to hear, you hear your friends doing it, and you think, "Well, I want to do that. I want to go do that." Uh, that was never really an option for us as a kid. Uh, my dad would take us fishing. Like that was like the sole recreational activity we really ever had. I'm not complaining about that at all, because I understand now as a parent uh, what that means a little bit more, I guess. Um, Financially, um, sort of, you know, uh, I don't know. I just, I, I think I benefited from it more than what I realized at the time. But at the time, I remember talking to him, like, how can you just do this every day? How can we just do this every day and it be okay? Like, why can't we do anything else? Well, it just really wasn't an option. Uh, but, uh, he said that, um, he said, what would you want to do? Like, there's nothing else out there that you can basically challenge yourself against Mother Nature like this, uh, in, in sort of combat, you know what I mean? Like, um, I don't want to say like combat because I don't want to make it like, I'm not trying to make it sound crazy at all, but, but basically... You have an opportunity to try to, to win. Can you outsmart the fish that day? Um, I don't want to be right on top of that guy. It feels like it's bad manners, I guess. But, um, and that's, that sort of resonated with me a little bit when I was growing up. Like, I understood sort of the competitiveness now. Not only are you competitive with the other guy in the boat, or in uh, wherever you're fishing, um, but you're you know you're you're competitive with with the fish itself. You're competing with the fish itself. Uh, can you sort of manipulate their predatory instincts to make it uh, to catch a fish? I don't know. I'm probably rambling a little bit, but uh, that was a decent sized smallmouth, and if that's all we do today. We'll that's good enough for me. I just obviously I want that. Uh, I want one of those flatheads. So I do. He was nice enough to give me this side, and I cast it back on that side, so that's why I reeled it in real quick. Um,
Eight pounds of fish really isn't going to be good enough. Uh, when it comes to cashing out, but that's okay. That's okay. Fog's moving back in already. stop and go. saying much. I apologize. I'm just really trying hard to catch a fish, to be honest. I don't like float fishing very much, but I'm thinking I feel like like this river isn't quite wide enough. For me to effectively lure fish either. What if I go what if I get here and go straight across that point? trying to imagine what this would look like on the on the bottom you know like a minnow darting from one rock to the next maybe or a shad I guess darting from one rock to the next if we try a grub it's yellow um, Bouncing along the, the bottom of the river. Mm. 
Looking like a little tasty morsel. The bad thing is, as fast as it's moving, I feel like it'd have to pretty much move right in front of a fish. In order for them to gobble it up. Oh, there's a fish. I thought so. I see, he missed it. You see how his bobber went backwards? He must have missed the strike. I'm just watching it for a second to see if he reels it in when he realizes he missed the strike. Oh, it must be that guy's bait. Okay, it must be the guy on this shore's bait. That would make more sense. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna end like the way we started. Getting dark. There's a hummingbird outside my window. I think she comes there and I tell it's a her because it doesn't have the ruby throat. But I think she like licks the dew off the leaves of the evergreen bush. That's how she gets her water. It's pretty cool. She gets right up here by my window if I don't move. Oh, there she goes. I had to keep checking my bobber. So hopefully I didn't miss anything. Okay. All right. I promise on the Friday video, we're going to go to this house. I'm going to run across these logs one time, I think. We're going to flip this guy right here. I'm going to bring it down here to about here. Let's see what happens. Actually, let's go closer to those rocks over there. Right there. Then we're gonna run across the logs and then we'll end the video. <sighs> didn't really do much. Didn't catch a lot of fish today. Talked about my dad. Asked for suggestions on DC. Uh, I got to see a little bit of 0 0.8, 0 0.0 at work. Or not at work, in the case maybe. No. Uh, this is, I would say that today and Monday was not the game's fault. It's definitely 
Um, my issue. Me getting sidetracked. First seeing the guy catch the gar and then wanting one of those. And then seeing that guy catch a 30 pound catfish and wanting one of those. So, I think that's my situation. I'm a little bit concerned about the stay another day thing. Because I paid for three days. Surely I'm here another day. If not, Friday's video is going to be real short. Well, actually, let, let's just take care of it now, shall we? Let's just take care of it now. Tomorrow's a new day. We're going to catch fish on Friday. We're going to make a Saturday fishing planet. Might make a Sunday fishing planet, I'll be honest. Depends if, I mean, if I haven't. We're going to cast it wherever there's so it bounce off the rocks. Boop. Bad cast, it says. All right. Let's, uh, let's fast forward time here. Oh, what? I had to fish until 9. Game? You're killing me. You're killing me, game. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I can fish till 9. If I catch anything, uh... I wonder what I'm catching for. Uh, looking for your cat fish, hoping for a gar, maybe to let's go over where he is. I will be taught by the master, and then uh, I'll come back on Friday and hopefully have a, a video for you. I'll, I'll, we're gonna run out of the logs though. Just so that you, uh, um, he's got the, the, the bass competition. Okay. I saw that little mayfly. Gives me a little bonus lesson here. A little bonus. centimeters okay 180 centimeters 180 centimeters uh, well, that'd be more than a meter about 60 
Mercy, thank you. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to practice this, and I'll, I'll cut back in. Uh, that's how I'll start Friday's video if I catch one here in a second. But uh, so make sure you uh, like the video if you um, like what you saw here. And uh, if you want to be reminded or become a member of the LOD, reminded of what it's like to uh, um, let me just flip it out there. Sure we can. Uh, if you want to be reminded when videos go up daily, just make sure you hit that subscribe button, become a member of the Lodge yourself, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.